Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Suzanne, and this is my empties for, sorry about that. <laughs> this is my empties for September and October. Uh, so let's start off with these two samples. This is from Dr. Jart. This is the Vital Hydro Solution Hydro Plump Water Cream. And these were nice, um, nothing spectacular, but uh, uh, they were nice. I think Dr. Jart's a pretty decent brand. I think they're Korean, actually. Um, yeah. So I wanted to use these two up. Got them, I think, in an Ulta bag. Um, what I have, I don't want to make too much noise, but this is from Shiseido. This is the, I keep hitting the camera, the facial cottons. Uh, I get these from TJ Maxx. They are, how much are they? They're $7.99 at TJ Maxx. So I have quite a few of these, 165, and I cut them in half. And I basically use them in the morning for my, um, my toner. So love these and have bought more. Uh, another one I love is from Belief. This is the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. And I have, I actually have the gel I bought. I think I got it on sale. So love this. This helps uh, my skin, especially in the winter. Um, it, my nose gets a little dry around the, around the sides. So this really helps. And this is a great uh, moisturizer. Pharmacy Honey Halo Hydrating, Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This nice moisturizer is very thick. The only thing is I, I really don't like the scent of honey. And some of their products are very strong with the honey. And this is one of them, not really bad. The Feeling Good Hyaluronic one, I, I couldn't use. I just had to get rid of it. That was awful to me. Uh, Elf, let's see, this is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one was a little too light to me. This is Fair Rose, but this is a good uh, concealer. I'll, I'll definitely buy it again. I'm also using the Maybelline Fit Me one right now, which is very nice also. Sunbum SPF 30. This is the Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion. This one is not tinted. The current one I'm using is tinted, and I like them. I would buy more uh, of their sunscreen, so I'm probably going to have to pick some more up anyway. This was a little expensive purchase. This is NARS uh, Mont, in Mont Blanc. It's their light perfecting foundation. This I think is up to $55 now, which for me, I mean, some people will buy it and that's fine. I, did, I just don't want to spend that kind of money anymore on it. So I have one more bottle. I will finish that up and move on. But this, this is, if you don't mind the price, this is a very good foundation. I really liked it. Finally, I have a lot of shampoo. And I don't use too much of it, so uh, this is from L'Oreal Paris. This is the El Vive or El Vive. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Extraordinary Clay Rebalancing Shampoo. This is supposed to be for um, purified roots and hydrating ends. And I, I like this. I have. I don't know if I have another one. I have different versions of the the L'Oreal shampoo. So I have the conditioner, which I don't use too much because my hair seems to get oily looking when I use it. So. I, I would probably repurchase it. Uh, I'm branching out trying a few other things. Uh, one scented wax melt, bourbon and bow ties. This is a really nice scent. Uh, I don't remember if I got this like through Polish Pickup or Etsy or something, but it's it's very nice. Handmade by TNT. Uh, Tree Hut Strawberry Shea Sugar Scrub. This was nice, but like the initial scent was was good, but then I kind of got sick of it. It was like a after scent, I guess you'd call it, that I didn't really care for. I have a bunch of other tree hut scrubs, not in the strawberries. So I'm using the apple one right now, which seems pretty good. Another Eco Tools. Uh, this is a biodegradable biodegradable sponge, which I really like. These I like um, the consistency or texture of them, but they obviously because they're biodegra biodegradable, I don't know why I'm saying it like that. They tear easily, especially with my nails. I seem to dig into them. So, another one. I have a few of these. This is from Berkeley Jensen Cotton Rounds. Um, I'm just trying to use these up. I have a few. I don't use them for my nails because the cotton ends up all over my nails and I have enough trouble with cat fur. So. This is a nice mask. This is from the Creme Shop, Be Perfect Skin. It's a cat face mask. 
but it is retinol and clarifying rice enzyme. And this is actually very nice. Um, I'm trying to think there is, yeah, there's quite a bit of serum in here. So I have a few more of these. They were a pack, so I will use those up. And then I have two Grande Repair Leave-In Lash Conditioners. Um, one I got from Amazon. It seemed kind of dry. It was their, one of their Prime Day deals. That's why I picked it up. So I ordered from Alton this time, so I'm using up another one. A little NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Fiji. This one was a little dark for me, but I used that up. And I got a couple of declutters to wrap it up. From ColourPop, this is Ritz. This is just like pure glitter. And I, I just can't with that anymore. <laughs> it's all over my face. Uh, and this from Danessa Myricks disappointed me because this is in Jade. It's their multi-chrome liner. And it's even... I mean, it looks really pretty, but it is so hard. It doesn't want to go on the lid. You end up really pushing and pulling your lid. And my age, I don't need to do that. So this is going to be a declutter. I wouldn't buy this again. I actually have some for ColourPop that's softer. They don't look as nice, you know, as, as multi-chrome as this one. It's, I could, don't have to tear my lid on it. So that is it for the empties for two months, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.